Hello the internet, my name is Laura and welcome back to my channel. Today we are on a field trip because the local plant Facebook group has said that there are big baskets of Hoyo Hindo, um, Hoya Compacta here um, and I really have to go check it out so we're going to see what's there and I'm really excited so I'm not going to talk long. Okay, bye. <laughs> They got the Trending Tropicals collection, and oh my god. Okay, so, looks like they only have two of these. Um, they, they actually have three begonias, but... And they've got some DV ravens. Oh, these are looking kind of rough. I'm not sure I might pass on the DZ Ravens. Yeah, wow, those look terrible. I think they're overwatered. Yeah, they are overwatered. Okay. Here, that or it's cold damage. I'm definitely getting one of these. Oh, they've got that. Okay, never mind. I was going to set them up there, but they've got it. Hey, beautiful. I know. You're not doing so great, are you? Mm -hmm. Yep, these are doing a little rough, but... Oh, man, are those spider mites? What do you guys think? Ah. I'm gonna get them anyway, but I'm just gonna have to be very, very careful and keep these quarantined. The pots they're in are very nice, though. Kind of. Um. Okay, so we're gonna go with that. One of these for sure. Right. Oh wow. Okay, that one looks pretty good. Let's go ahead with that one. Okay. Alright, this I think is most of the same stuff that they usually have. any more Hindu ropes. Okay, what do we got? Oh, they got some ZZ Ravens, I mean some just regular ZZs down there. They have a Red Maranta. Um, something back here, is that? It's fuzzy, whatever it is. I don't even know what it is. Do you have anything for me? Code Dance. Guys. I know, I'm so excited. I'm like trying to look at everything. They got a really big shipment and they don't usually get in big shipments like this. Not here. Um, oh my gosh, aren't those so cute? <laughs> I mean, not that I want one of those, but... Now, the, the way the light was reflecting off of that for a second, I thought it might have been, um, might have been a, uh, variegated one, so I had to check. I got some really nice Christina. These, I guess, are on sale. Okay, let's see what we got over here. Alright, dead stuff. 
pothos, begonia. They got some rex begonias that don't look too bad, but not with those ones that I'm buying there. And some more maranthas. I'm not. If I was ever going to get a prayer plant, I would probably get the red maranta, but with those things, I'm just not even. I'm not really feeling it. Oh, man, are all the Hoyo Hindu ropes gone already? I am not seeing them. I think we. I think I might have missed them. Um, unless they've got them hiding somewhere else, but. Oh, they're not cute. Uh, that stinks. I mean, I'm really glad that I got these, but. Man, I really wouldn't mind picking up a ZZ Raven, but I am just afraid that that is going to die. Um. Because all of them just look terrible. Those are all dying. seems like the best out of the bunch. Even though that one that one's got a new thing coming in, but that one looks the best. How much are these again? I didn't even look. Oh, it actually doesn't say. Usually they're around $18. Uh, I just, I can't. It's just, uh, they're so slow growing and they look so terrible that I just can't bring myself. <sighs> okay, anything else out here? There's some really pretty different bossians. And an allocation. Poor baby. like the, there were any more Hoya Hindu ropes, they are gone. But I am definitely glad I got these guys. Definitely, definitely. Okay. Okay, so it looks like these are going to be what I'm getting. Uh, this one's going to need a little bit of help. It's a little rough, but this one actually looks fairly good compared to everything else. the Home Depot. We'll see if they've got anything here. No reason to think that they do. However, I figured if I'm in town, I might as well just go ahead and check. And there's little succulents beside the door. That looks like they got some more of these aloe guys. They're pretty. Look at them still having a plant section on the other side of the Christmas stuff. Oh, look at all the tiny little growth on that. Isn't that adorable? <laughs> Succulent ornament. Cute. Ah, man, there's a variegated that looks so much better than the variegated shade that I have. Mine, I swear to gosh, has not grown in like forever. Wow, okay, that's even more anemic than I thought it was. Uh, hard to believe that I found my first trending tropicals here. Because they really don't... They really don't do much plant-wise most of the time. But we were in the area. So, 
We had this we had to stop by. We didn't have to stop by, but we stopped by. Uh. Alright guys, back home. So I'm gonna show you I mean basically you saw what I ended up getting because I didn't get anything at the um at the Home Depot, but so I got this guy. Um let's say Get them while you can. Rare varieties are released throughout the year. A collection of rare and unique varieties. So, this, I don't even know what this is. It is, I mean, obviously it's a begonia. Um, but, what type of begonia, I do not know. It's possible that the internet knows. Um, but this one is covered in all kinds of small white dots. So, like that. Um, the plant, this plant itself is a little, a lot beat up. Um, the plants that they had there were not in the best of shape in general. Um, and so I knew that this was going to be a little bit of a, a little bit of a project. But the plant itself, like the, the stems and everything, are all nice and healthy. Um, you know, it's got some nice stems on it. It's doing well. There's actually, oh, quite a few plants in here, actually. There's three main stems, and then, uh, yeah, there's three main stems. So here, there and there and then there's a, an extra stem coming off of each of those um like a little baby one so it's got a decent number of growth points it's going to get pretty big and bushy just it's going to take a little bit a little bit of tlc <laughs> um before it gets there but all those little silver dots are just really really pretty so oh and something I feel like I was looking on here. I think there's a little bit of a pink hue on it. Maybe when it gets a little bit more sun. Um, but I don't remember why I was thinking that. I saw it on something. Oh, the little... Oh, uh, yeah. This little leaf here. It's one of the younger ones. I'm not even sure you can tell. Um, but I think there's some, there's some pink up there. I don't know if that's... If that'll, you know, keep being like that or whatever. But, um, cute little guy. And will get really, really bushy once it, um, all these stems actually start growing stuff on them. And then the other one that I got is in much better condition in general. Um, looking like that. Really, really dark colored leaves. Um, probably not black, just very, very dark green, um, with, and apparently they come in rather red, and then the undersides of it are, are red. So this is a, a rather striking plant. Um, and then my friend Kenyon, I'm pretty sure has, I think she has both of these, but this one she says is very, um, reflective of light. It gets like a really nice glow on it. I don't think this one has... No, that one it doesn't it doesn't say what either of these are which i think is really silly if you're gonna have a trending tropicals collection like you'd think that you would say these are the plants that are in our trending tropicals collection but um this one how many stems do we got in here we've got again three main stems and then two three Oh, it looks like three stems coming off of it. So, yeah, both of these, man, I wish my maculata had had that many stems on it, but um, still, this is doing pretty well. Um, and this one, like I said, is not, this one won't take as much time to recover. Assuming that it adjusts well, it um, it's looking pretty, pretty close to perfect. Um, so... And I'm happy with the both of these. Um, even though I was kind of at a mad scramble, I'm really kind of disappointed that they didn't have any of the Hindu ropes, which is the reason why I went. Um, 
I mean, I, I have I have one already. You know, it's just not a huge basket for probably like 20 bucks. And, um, and I, I wouldn't have minded getting a ZZ Raven at the same time, but that's more so that I can propagate it and, and get cuttings out to people because I know a lot of people want it. So I want to be able to share it. And those plants were in such bad shape that it would take me a really long time to even get it because ZZ Ravens are very slow growers. So it would take me a long time to get it to a shape where I could start taking cuttings off of it. Um, and so I figured I might as well just leave them there for people who actually want them because, you know, if you want, if you want that plant, then you're willing to take it and, and give it. I don't think any of them were going to die. I think they just, they were just like kind of rough. So, um, but anyway, um, these guys, that's right. I wanted to keep, keep them away from everything else because there were a couple that I picked up that had webbing all over them. Um, and that's not what I need in my life. So these guys are going to have to go somewhere for a week or so. That's not going to be touching anything else until I can figure out. Uh, I might have room over there. Um, until I can figure out whether or not they've actually got pests on them or if that was just like on some particular plants. I didn't pick the plants that had the webbing on them. But there were some that had webbing on them, so we'll probably be okay. Um, but anyway, yeah. So that there's my video. These are my my two new plants. They're very lovely. I've got one that's really white and one that's really dark. <laughs> um, and so, if you like this video, go ahead and like this video. Um, if you'd like to stick around and see how these guys do, you know, subscribe and stick around. And um, thank you very much for spending some of your time with me today. And I will see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye-bye.